I'll get introduced to my brother. My squad superior, ain't none above us. We doing numbers. Gang in the building, we taking it over. Call the promoters. I just pulled up in this thing with my soldiers. I blew it and I'm still. That's me, I'm a Nimi. Call up Khalifa. Brand new in the. You know, I stay with some bad little baby. CGOD, baby, know that's a gang gang. Crazy girls after the game. We doing honest, we going insane. Pointers, 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 Dead homies got me pointers, pointers. We get awards where we get God the glory. I'm shooting my shot and most times I be scoring. Do this for my city. I bring on the trophy. Feel like Freddie Mercury. We are we the champions. Here in Los Angeles. We doing numbers. Bring it home victory straight out the huddle. I met the plug, introduced to my brother. My squad superior, ain't none above us. We doing numbers. Gang in the building, we taking it over. Feeling like I can't miss. Baby, it's all in the wrist. You really want to be the boss that's expensive. Ain't the real champ if you never defend it. Put in that work, I'm going to make them remember. I just broke down hella trees yelling timber. Stand in the line, they put me in the center. It blow their mind when they see how... First opened in 1999. There's a good look at First Energy Stadium here in Cleveland, Ohio. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the New Orleans Saints and the Cleveland Browns. season is upon us. We've got the gift of the NFL as we're underway here in week 16. Now here's Jakeem Grant from his end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Maybe three. Christmas Eve here in 2022. A big slate today of Saturday games. But we will have, ready for this, a triple header of action on Christmas Day. Orlando, you are home. I think it's pretty safe to say we won't have a white Christmas in any of these places, however. We start with the Packers and Dolphins in Miami at 1 Eastern. Then you got the Broncos and Rams from Los Angeles. And then finally, the Bucks and Cardinals at 820 Eastern in the desert. Plus one more for good measure on Monday. all gone back home and grandma's putted out of the house grab the leftovers and sit back and watch the chargers and the colts from indianapolis throwing on third down watson and that's complete it's chris godwin he's got the first down and more and take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds and they pick up 25 as they convert on third and let's face it, that what we just saw there, not a surprise, is it? I mean, this is what he does well. And if you don't tackle him as soon as he catches the ball, <laughs> then this is the end result. Big yardage. Oh, oh. He's got the speed, the agility, so good with run after catch. And we're only in the first quarter, so they better get a wrangle and a hold on that quickly. Yeah, you're exactly right. And what's really difficult to try and defend him is if you want to press him so that you get him on the ground quickly after the catch, a lot of times he'll just run past you at the initial point of contact, and he'll go deep. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. 
It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Now this defense for the Saints, they played extremely well last week in the win over Atlanta. It was a little bit enlightening talking with the defense coordinator about their performance last week because the feeling was that it was a good, solid performance. They did what they needed to do to get the job done and get the win, but definitely a few lapses that they're looking to throw. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. On fourth down, on is Corey Bohorquez to punt. Deontay Hardy deep for New Orleans. And he was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. And yeah, that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. Winston and the Saints now with a first and 10 at the 20. Woo! Begin on the ground with Camara. Nice his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. FSU teammate Jalen Ramsey. And the return stops at the 39 yard line. And that's what we've seen from this defense all year long because they've been so good at finding ways to take the ball out of the way. And it just gave us another example right here. A strong defense. That's something you're going to need to rely on come playoff time. And this crew has got one. There's no doubt about that, Brandon. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. Roll. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that second down yeah I don't know if it's exactly a win-win but if you're on offense you'll take that kind of a run all right it was kind of stacked up found a little bit of yardage and frankly they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense the playbook is still open for the coordinator second down here's Chubb again and good running gonna get this down close to a first at the Saints 29 it'll go as a gain of seven on the play and it sets up a third and in inches situation and that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes, the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to break a big one. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That was a lightning fast decision that time. He just caught it and got rid of it. Because he saw his guy was going to be open immediately. So he took the R, the run, out of the play. He took the O, the option, out of the play and immediately got to the pass. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the gun, it's a give to Chubb. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. 11 more on that one and another first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a lock. Touchdown, Browns! David Njoku, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Browns use the early turn to get on the board first here in this one. Extra point by York is up and good. And it's now a 7 0 game. The Browns kicking team out there now as they'll send this one away. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. Boom! And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, Everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage. Dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense over. Well, that's 
an excellent way to get the pass rush activated. The first sack of the game for them comes on the first play of the drive, and it makes it very tough for the opponent to pick up a first down now, playing behind the sticks. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. Brandon watching their tape from last week. I saw plenty of plays like we just saw there, forcing incompletions. It was key in their win last week. They're hoping the same thing happens this time out, too. They're going deep for Hill. And Man, come on, Dick. own end zone and he'll get this away into the icy winter air ouch we'll call that a punt of 54 yards well struck and the browns will take over first and great 10. job buddy Break your goddamn ass. the browns drive about to get started they've got a seven nothing lead in the football as well as they start out first and ten straight 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 now on the run he'll throw it back deep over the middle and now fucking hold the throat, Deshaun. Picked off by Marshawn oh, Animal. And the Saints are going to get it back here just shy of the 20. So the interception <laughs> there. And Charles, I'd imagine that's something you can maybe live with in December, but not come January. And I love how you make the distinction there. You're talking about regular season versus the postseason, the playoffs. Because these guys, they've already clinched a playoff spot, but they know. Looking ahead. When they get into the postseason, they've got to take better care of the football because turnovers in that situation, they really become magnified. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. The Saints with the football here to begin quarter number two as they've got a second and eight forthcoming. To throw Winston. It's incomplete. Oh, Took a shot, couldn't get it. And he's missing out his first four passing attempts. The rhythm is just not there to begin this ball game. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Jameis to throw it. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back in the nine. Miles Garrett gets his 20th sack of the season as he continues. What Turn your mic on, green ass nigga. I'm going to bomb your ass, bitch. So from their own end zone here, this kicks away. Shake, shake. Oh, shake, shake, shake. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Clip that, please. Clip that. Oh, my God. First and ten. Man, you better let CPU tackle me. Sorry, bitch. See what he was thinking on that carry. Why follow that big tackle through the hole? Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. This what should have happened last time. At the six yard line. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. Chris Godwin, 37 yards. And the Browns. Are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Well, they went play action there and set it up nicely for him. I mean, he can flat fly and they hit him downfield. And it doesn't take much to create that extra bit of space that a guy of his speed needs. If you go play action, all you want is just a moment for the guys covering to take their attention somewhere else. And then he's by him. And once he's by him, there's no catching him. As they always like to say, if a receiver's even to a defensive back, that means he's leaving. Unless that DB is Charles Davis, right? In that case, he left me a long time ago. Come on now. <laughs> Trust me. The Browns kicking team out there now as they'll send this one away. 
And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. Now a hit and a loose football. Shay, shay, shay. Bye bye. Bye bye. And his guys are going to get the football at the 23 yard line. So problems compounding themselves here on the return. They just give up the touchdown and now they lose the football. Yeah, partner. Things are starting to unravel a little bit for them right in front of our eyes. They're going to be looking for some answers and quickly. Now a throw. They're going to be taken in by the tight end to Joku. And he'll be marked down right at the 15 yard line. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there are more people there to get him down. They go with Chubb on second down. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense, a little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them, but they did do a nice job there, forcing a loss on that play. The offense on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This time, it's third and three. Back to throw, Watson. Going out wide, finds Chubb. And so close, he gets it to the wall. Out of bounds right there. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Quick throw. Ah. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. It'll go as a loss on the play. Now what you need down here, it's going to be second and goal. Chubb will score. Touchdown, Cleveland. Boy, so if you are scoring at home, Charles, and God bless you if you are, but that's now three drives and three touchdowns. So in a baseball game, wouldn't that wreak havoc on your scorecard? Yes. I mean, with all the action that's happening now, how they got here, whatever cliche you want to bring into it, they're locked into a groove, they're clicking on all cylinders. Bottom line, they're piling up the points. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores, and I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession, but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit. If they don't score here... That's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. Oh, oh you running my goddamn plays? What you telling me? Two minutes running my shit. This first half for football. And some secondary help here for the defense in the nickel on third and long. Winston. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. game plan up and running that zero on the scoreboard is clearing down at them with every incompletion fifty five yard punt eleven on the return and they will take over first and ten 
The Cleveland offense ready to go. Well, the football changing hands here as this offense takes a field. Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating. Bad throw, bro. It's intercepted. Hop after, hop after, hop after. Hop after, hop after, hop after. Hop after. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Hop after. Boy, a big play right there. I mean, a touchdown on this drive could have really put some separation on the score. Come on. Instead, it's the defense who scores. And partner, we got a game again. And we do have one because of what you just described. A defense that understood what was going on in this game and did something about it. They knew their offense needed some help. They just provided it. They're back in this one. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Browns drive about to get started. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's end. Good shit. Hey, good shit, Lando. Interception. Isaiah Simmons picking it off. Good shit, bro. Good shit. This one home. It's a touchdown. Don't do that shit no more, though. You think you're going into halftime with a good size lead? Not that so fast. Up. That pick six really changes the complexion. Probably also Dang. changes the halftime speech. No doubt about it. Instead of going in relaxed, you're probably a little more uptight right now. Probably a little bit angry. Let's see if they can get their focus back. Lots good on the extra point. Good play, and they're bro. back with it. A touchdown at 21-14. Mm -hmm. The return from his end zone is Grant. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Cleveland offense ready to go. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting. Bro, come on, man. What you doing? A mistake there. That could change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. They go up the middle with Chubb. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Calling no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. From the gun on third, Watson. Pressure gets to him, and down he goes. Back at the four-yard line. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts. As it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. The Bohorquez on to punt as he gets it away. Here's Hardy set to return. So possession goes over here on the punt. And control of the football switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And maybe a chance for a quick completion and then a long field goal try. We'll see. He's going to look deep for more. Oh, and a bad throw there. It's intercepted. Picked up by Denzel Ward. Charles, he was so close to halftime there. You throw the interception out of that. You do give it to them in plus territory as well. Yeah, they were pushing real hard to try and get something more on the board on their side of the ledger right before the half. 
Looking at it with 20-20 hindsight, though, might have been better to hand it off a few times, hoping to get something to break instead of putting the ball in the air and, of course, putting the ball in jeopardy. So we've reached halftime here. Let's throw in a broadcaster cliche, shall we? Both teams looking for a gift on Christmas Eve. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Saints going to go on offense first, and they trail here as we begin quarter number three. He will return this from deep in the end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. On second and 12, Winston, throw left side, taken in by Hill. Oh. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. That's a staple in this offense. Drag round to the top. That's a hot gun. That's a hot gun. Nigga got one completion, bro. Second half, still down by that slim margin. Yeah, and that's okay. You know, when, when you sit and analyze it, they're not happy about what happened having to go to the bench. But this gives them a chance to let their defense do some work while they on the sidelines go over what they're doing offensively and formulate a proper plan. Absolutely love the flexibility of these punters. Their leg drive, able to get it way up in the air. And that allows their punt team to get down there and down it inside the 10 because they've had some time. The Browns drive about to get started. Now a first down throw. Watson. He's got Najoku, his big tight end. There he goes right side. He's at the 40. Pass the 20. And all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. And that's a drive that makes everyone happy on that bench because they accomplish exactly what they set out to do. Take care of the football, eat up a little clock, end up in the end zone. Now they've got to cushion for the rest of the game. So they didn't just help themselves offensively, they helped their defense out as well. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this will be returned from deep in the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling and we're changing the direction, bro. I don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He'd love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. On second down, Kamara. And not a whole lot there. Maybe a yard to the 27. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. First hand completion on first down. And you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. Mm -hmm. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted. But it winds up falling incomplete. Here comes the Saints punter now. He's been terrific so far. 
and he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. Only 29 yards on the punt there. Definitely not his best. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Cleveland offense ready to go. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do, and you saw the celebration. And this is caught. A big play that time for Cleveland. 59 yards. Hard to believe that arm strength was a knock on Deshaun Watson coming out of Clemson, but he showed what he's got there. And he made that look effortless, didn't he? I mean, he's had a great game throwing the football. This is going to add to his yardage total in a big way. It's one thing to be accurate on your short and intermediate throws, but when you're hitting the bombs like those, look out. They'll run with Chubb, and he takes this one in for a Brown score. Nick Chubb with his 14th rushing touchdown of the year, and the Browns take a three-touchdown lead. Extra point by York is up and good, and the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, mm -hmm. right now. Yeah, Fuck you, turn your mic on for a minute. Out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Winston's that was hot garbage. To throw is Winston. And the throw there gonna be incomplete. Pump my shit, nigga, pump my shit. Stop trying my safety, bro. You fucking stupid. What he's done in the secondary has been something special. It has been because it's been an all around game. God damn, Nick. Taking the ball away, rushing the quarterback and sacking him himself, doing a number of different things that change the way the game is played. And pass the throw before he's out of bounds. Good blocking there, nearly sprung him. As it is, it'll go as a 19-yard return. Foul, the Browns drive about to get started. But they got to be thrilled with how they've operated so far in this one. They've got the nice lead, and now a chance to score here on three straight possessions. Yeah, and the way that they are rolling, I just don't know how they get slowed down because they seem to be operating at peak efficiency right now. They might want to think about getting some of the backups a little bit of work, though. Let some other guys get on the field and do their thing and save some of this for the next time out. On first down, it's Watson. Throw left side, caught by the tight end to Joku. And he'll get this to the 22. So they began the play at the 11, and it's a gain of 11. First down. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. On first down, Watson. And he gets it to his running back, Nick Chubb. Get your bitch ass off, you nigga. You got one away from contact, bitch. That nigga got one for this bitch. Fuck no, dog food, nigga. Touchdown to add on to that lead. Extra point by York is up and good. And that'll increase their lead to 28. The Browns kicking team out there now as they'll send this one away.
And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Saints you is sorry if well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the? I got rid of my old my D line, sir. I don't have no D line. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole. Lot of I don't have nobody here, else. They can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down. I ain't even blitzing you no more. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL. And it's I ain't blitz you since the first goddamn quarter. What? The Saints on third down. They're struggling. 0 for 6 thus far. Oh, that's a pick. Come on, man. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first What are you doing, Denzel? It's a ah, pickup of damn. 6 and good enough to move the chains. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Pick that. Oh. And oh, Jameis intercepted a third time. Picked off by Quadre Diggs. And the return here will go to the 31 yard line. sake after the game he may have to announce that he's donating certain amounts to charity yeah, to I just think huh tell me that wasn't a dot he the yes yards, the final hmm. I don't know what got and that's gonna be in Complete. The CD, they're up big, but they're still passing it. I mean, this is an offense that's had a lot of success in this game, and it seems like they're just. Uh, I don't know what they got them to you. And it does feel like there's been a shift out there, doesn't it, partner? Listen, if you're up, you can continue to do what you want to do. It's up to the other team to make you change how you do things. They'll continue to throw it around until stopped. Second down and goal. Watson. And Joku pulls this one in. He's got it. Oh, you wanted to magnetize to the ball because you did not step over there. You did not move over there. You stayed on that receiver coming across. You just wanted to magnetize to it? They are also closing in on a fifth straight victory. Extra point by York is up and good. And this one was over. What Madden do, bro? That's how a nigga scored on me. Last game I played the nigga. They clipped me on the safety in the middle of the field instead of a nigga right by me. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And their four-game win streak very much in jeopardy as they go to work here late in the first and ten. Throwing there, but this no the hell it ain't complete. That oh my god. One step closer to the end of this one. Maybe mercifully, partner. And let's face it, though. No surprise. They're still flinging it around. Don't throw that. Don't throw that. Alave holds it in. So they say we'll let that go. I decline it. Sir. I decline it. We'll bring up third down instead as they decline it. So they're comfortable with the yardage. The big thing to them is what you pointed out. Yeah, I ain't never seen it. Third down and making a play there. Pete. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And he'll get this back to the 32 yard line. And they've got the huge lead. Now they stop going there, the big side of the ball. The defensive side seems like everything they touch in this one, Charles, turns to gold. And they have to be awfully happy right there to get mm. on the road. And I'm still one of their mm. best efforts of the season. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Don't blame me for that, host. After the interception, here's Watson. That's to the right side and complete to Najoku. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. 
Gotta give credit okay. where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. From the 30 on second down, Watson. And he will find his man Schwartz. That's complete. And he's gonna be marked down just outside. Boy, that team. was a dot. That was a goddamn dot. Even with the big lead. Yeah, I know you and I came up in a different era when we think about sportsmanship mm -hmm. and all that. Other people think about fantasy points and getting their numbers. <laughs> That's all they care about right now. On first and ten, Watson. And he just throws this one away. Smart What's that nigga speed, sir? And it brings up second down. Well, they're up comfortably here, Charles. But that faster than that, nigga. Dissuading them from pressing the envelope late. I mean, if anything, with these passes, it's like they're getting more aggressive to try to drive the ball downfield. And that will certainly lend itself to some post-game questions for that coach. And maybe you and I should attend that press conference and see what he has to say because someone's going to ask him why he continued to push it. My guess, he didn't like how some of the snaps were run earlier. And he wanted to use that as a chance to clean things up. But he certainly will have some explaining to do. I don't know why I do that. I don't know. Picked off by the linebacker, Jamario Davis. And the Saints are going to take over here at their own Damn, two yard that. line. Now they get a fourth quarter pick, a little something to hang their hat on, I guess. Okay, so let's face it, though. Who's happy about this play? Fantasy guys, right? Yeah. The analytics will tell you one thing or another. That's and my goodness, another interception. Greedy Williams picks it off. And they're going to be set up in the red zone right around the 17 huh? yard line. From the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Following the fumble recovery, Watson. And this will be caught. And the carnage continues. Big body tight end. Touchdown. They just continue to roll. And Charles, for you and I, we want the close games, but for them, it has to be so nice to enjoy this big cushion. Yes. I can't remember the last time we saw them play this. Nah, they're holding you, though, bro. I ain't going to hang. I think they'd love to be able to catch this game. He is holding you. Carry a rhythm from week to week and be able Say to play you. Like Ain't gonna lie. In all the rest of their games. The Browns kicking team out there now as they'll send this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted Alex for the touchback. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things through this ball game. But the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You have to think that's going to be... Oh, 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 that's my nigga, boy. Hey, y'all niggas going to learn about <laughs> I think it's gonna learn about a season now. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? Yes. This that uses motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. It'll be a Saints first down on a pickup of 13. Winston. He'll that should have been a pick. To Rondale Moore. And a nice milestone reached on that last throw is here late in the season. He goes over 4,000 yards passing. And he's really thrown the ball well all season long. Had some big games along the way. He's inspired his receiving core to go out and make plays for him in each and every ball game. And I think the it? ball's out. But this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. Well, obviously, you never want to fumble, but if you do, good to be towards the sideline and saves them the possession. Saves the embarrassment, saves it going down on the play sheet as a turnover. But I still think it should go to the defense, even if they don't recover. If you give up the football, you gave up the football. Well, I agree to disagree, I guess. <laughs> Can you tell what I played? Yeah, you played defense. Yeah. I'll, I'll let you go. I took a shot. Coming up on a second and six. Again, it's Winston. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Landry. 
And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. I declined it. And they'll let that play, the completed pass, stand as they decline the penalty. So do you get the sense they like their defense? Yeah, they wanted that next down to come up. Yeah, they weren't worried about the yardage there at all, just what you said. Let the downs trickle away. And he's got the hook up to Landry. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. And now here's another interception. Picked up by Fulisano and Oregon. Huh? The Browns are going to have it here as they start. I want to play with that nigga, bro. Yet another mistake after the interception there. And gosh, you look up at the scoreboard. They just got to be thinking this one cannot get over fast enough. It certainly can't. And also what happens when you get this big of a deficit, What's his You're supposed to make all the right throws, right? You're supposed to try and obviously get the ball to your own guys. But being down this big, you also take even more chances. And in this situation, it doesn't pay. He's got a man complete. And he's going to get this down inside the 40 before he's finally ridden out of bounds. Yes. A big connection on that one. 56 yards. So how about this for a change in field position? From inside the 10, here's first down on the other side of the field. Throwing now, Watson. Oh. It's incomplete. They're still throwing to the very end. But now this game is over. Well, fans usually love to see scoring, and there's no shortage of it today. What a dominant showing from an offense that was truly playing at an elite level in this contest. Partner, this game was over a long time ago, and you noticed they did not want to slow down anything. Absolutely a dream scenario for everyone on that offense, and they took advantage of every second. Guaranteed popcorn for everyone in their film session. So for Cleveland, they continue to rack up the victories as this one moves them to 13-2 and two on the year. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Washington Commanders. Meanwhile, for New Orleans, this loss really hurts their playoff chances as they drop to 7-8 and eight with two games left. And they'll look to get back in the winning column next week.